On behalf of Ollie and Sydney, I'd like to welcome you all to the Lapa at the Orangery. You've all been invited here to celebrate with Ollie and Sydney, to witness their marriage and the promises they will make to one another. Marriage is a commitment to life in which people can find and bring out the best in each other. When two people promise to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a union unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. I value the first cut of my meat, the first sip of my wine. From this day, it shall only be your name, I cry out, in the night and into your eyes that I will smile each morning. I shall be a shield for your back as you are for mine. No shall a grievous word be spoken about us, for our marriage is sacred between us, and, and no stranger shall hear our grievance. Above and beyond this, I will cherish and honour you through this life and into the next. May you never steal, lie or cheat, and if you must steal, then steal away my heart, and if you must lie, then lie with me every night, and if you must cheat, then cheat there, because I could not live a day without you. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Oliver Jordan Weller. Why I, Sydney May, Sheila Box Cameron. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To Sydney May Sula Box Cameron. To Oliver Jordan Weller. We're both very proud of Oliver. His commitment and hard work has seen him successful in many ventures, earning well at school with his illegal tuck shop selling both to students and teachers. Sid, what can I say? He was walking around with a constant smile on his face, going out more, and we were very pleased, happy that you were happy. You bring out the best in each other, enjoy each other's company, and don't forget to communicate. Although there was a little less communication about the fact that Sid was a mother and we're about to become instant grandparents. Obviously, we're far too young. <laughs> but to be honest with you, we couldn't be more proud of Louis and Sal. Sydney, I knew Ollie was the one for you because he makes you laugh and he listens to you and he never once questions your need to own 17 pairs of leggings. <laughs> Ollie, I've come to know you as someone who not only loves Sydney very deeply but also respects and cherishes her in every way. You've seamlessly joined our family and have proven time and time again that you're the perfect partner for our girl. Your partnership is a beautiful reminder that love is about finding the person who sees all your quirks and chooses to be with you anyway, especially all of Oliver's quirks. Ollie, we've had lots of good memories, but firstly, I'd like to say thank you to Sid for coming into Ollie's life and toning down his dress sense. But also, you have taken him off my hands as I was starting to get worried I was going to have a lot of him. Sydney, you look amazing. Thank you for organising this. As we know, Ollie didn't have much say in it. Thank you to my husband. I knew you were the one for me when I turned to you one evening and I said, you know what, I'd really love to go and watch the sunrise at Folkestone with the kids. And he turned to me and said, what a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people would have welcomed the idea of setting an alarm for 3am and taking the drive with a newborn baby and a four-year-old but my idea was met with enthusiasm, as is all of them. Another thing I thank you for is your thoughtfulness. Whenever I may be having a hectic day, you stop me, you give me a hug, and you ask me what you can do to help, and that really means a lot to me. Well, Louis and Sal, well, where do I start? My wife is many things, but she is an ex exceptional mother to both boys. At the start, I had my fears about not fitting in, but I don't think I could have fit in any better in the end. Louis, as much of a little rat you can be, you're an absolute star. 
You are so well behaved, funny and kind hearted. I'm so glad you have welcomed me into your family and I've earned your respect. You have called me your dad from almost the start and it melts my heart, but I couldn't be proud of you to call you my son. I'm so proud of you, Louis. No number of words will express the love I have for you. So, well, I've been there pretty much uh, since the day you were born. I've watched you grow, I've watched you take your first steps, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Sydney, my beautiful wife, I cannot thank you for all the support, care and love you have shown and given me. From your awesome cooking to your ridiculously bad dancing, I generally feel we have an unbreakable bond like no other. And one thing that I always cherish forever is the Read Me When You Need Me book. You are beautiful inside and out. No words can ever describe how much you mean to me. My life has changed for the better and without you, this wouldn't have been possible. I'm the luckiest man alive right now and so proud to be able to introduce you as my wife, Sydney Mayweather. I love you. Ollie and Sydney, you have given your marriage vows and promises to each other in front of everyone here, and it is my great pleasure to now announce that you are now married. <laughs>